So I'm sitting here with Madame Beatrice Mugri, the Chief Administrator, Co-Founder of Hot Peck Orphanage in Mile 15, Boya. And um, we call her Mabia. So Mabia, um, hello, and thank you so much for allowing me to take this video. Thank you. So um, a few of the people who love Hot Peck and are supporting you just have a few questions that they wanted, to, they wanted me to ask you. And I thank you for taking the time to respond. One of the things that, uh, well, if you could just first of all start with a very brief history of how the orphanage got started. Okay, um, the Hot Peck orphanage started in 1995. We had five children there. And actually the vision was given to my husband. I'm just supporting him as a wife, just as the Bible says, women are helpers. So we started with five children and now we have 85 children. And along the line we have been depending on God for the move of the vision. Because he is the giver of the vision. In this institution or in the hot park, we have in, we run a nursery and primary school. And in these 85 children, we have 17 of them in secondary schools, which is being taken care of hot or orphanage. We also run a computer department where we educate the children on computer. We have some disabled, physically disabled, who are doing designing and carpentry, all under hot pack sponsors. Because our main aim is to see that the children don't go out begging. But they should be established because God's plan for them is to have them a better future. So Hot Peck has 10 babies now, with the youngest four months old. And the younger the babies, the two youngest babies are HIV positive. But we are believing God for a miracle. Hot Peck runs a daily activity from 5:30 a.m. where we get up for morning devotion. We pray and share the word of God together with the children and we disperse at 6 a.m. where the children goes to do various assignments. After that, by 7.30, they are ready for school where they get their breakfast and they go for school. We have the nursery and primary school in the center. But some few children come out from the nearby villages. This helps us to interact with our children, to interact with other children outside so that they will not just they will not be thinking that they are isolated. And we want them to also rehab be, re be rehabilitated with other children in the society. We carry the children out once in a while to see the work of God in other places. For example, we used to take them to a zoo in Limbe. We go to the seaside, show them the work of God. We take them to Bakingli show them the things God has created so that they will know they will have a broad mind of the love of God. Despite the fact that they have lost one parent or the other, despite the fact that they were abandoned, we make them to understand that God is the father to the fatherless. We teach them the word of God. We have Bible studies on Wednesdays, we have Sunday service on Sundays. We have every first Saturday of the month we have an indoor fasting and prayers where we break bread and every last Saturday, uh, last Fridays of the month we have night prayers. All this is to equip the children spiritually so that by the time they leave hot peck they will not find themselves desperate and in any mess in the society. Where do these children come from? Some of the children come from people who call themselves Good Samaritan when they abandon the pick and bring. Some of the, the children come from the Ministry of Social Affairs. And then some desperate widows or widowers who cannot take care, care if the, when the other partner is not, they bring the children. And since our heart is to bring up the children in the fear of the Lord, we take them so that we nurture them in the word of God. Are all the 85 children that you have, have any grown out of Hot Peck? Of all the 85 that you have, have any graduated from Hot Peck? Or are these all the children that, the children you started with, are they still with you? Uh, no, one got married, 
She completed her secondary education and she got married. She's our child. She comes home and visits us in Hotbeck and goes back. Then the others are in high school and some are doing uh, carpentry and designing. So actually, we don't want them to just go out without doing anything. That is why we have even bigger ones who are of age. What about adoption? What about families in America who say they want to adopt a child and actually take them to America? What do you have to say to that? Actually, our desire when we started this vision is to see that children stays in homes where they can be parented, where they can be brought, brought up in the fear of the Lord. But now, with the social status in the country, we have not yet been given that go-ahead to give our children for adoption. But our prayers are that in future, when they will give us the go-ahead, we will love to give our children into Christian homes so that the children will have no regrets in future. What would you like people in America to know specifically about you or about the orphanage and about how they can help? Um, actually, we, we would like to see that people invest into the lives of orphans because they are the heartbeat of God. And we see that anybody who invests in the lives of orphans, God has a greater reward for such people. And so we are open to the people in America we are calling upon them to invest into these lives in various ways. We have in construction, then we are still in need of babies' units, dormitories, volunteer house, workers' quarters, a big, a good chapel for the, for the, the orphanage, and many other things. Even donation of dresses, beddings, mattresses, and other school needs, helping the children paying their fees. All those is going to bring a blessing to anyone who finds himself, who finds herself as part of a big family. Thank you, Mabia. I really appreciate you taking the time. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you too. Bye.